is their country you never thought you would visit. You see, I usually look for warm places to go to, and my dream for years has been to travel around Africa and the Middle East, and I wasn't really interested in traveling to Northwest Europe at all. Well, I couldn't have been more wrong. I have explored places like Morocco, Cyprus, and Israel. And I recently went on my first ever solo trip to Jordan. Hey, my name is Adam and I am new to travel vlogging. This time, I decided to try something new and organized a backpack trip to a country that surpassed my expectations. This is the story of my journey to Ireland. This time I'm not going on my own. I'm accompanied by Zdravka, my Bulgarian host mom who kinda adopted me when I was a teenager. She is a crazy traveler and she made me fall in love with going on adventures. So when I found cheap tickets to Ireland, she immediately said yes. Well, I'm traveling again. <laughs> It became official a couple of hours ago uh, because I received the, my results from the PCR test. So yeah, before that, I was not sure if uh, I will be able to go, but now it's official. So <laughs> I can't believe So Ireland was not one of my dream destinations. It somehow did not really attract me. However, the moment we got on the plane, I was getting really excited. I don't like stereotypes, but I was wondering, how will it be? Will Ireland be so cloudy, rainy and grey? Some people told me it would be. Will I even like it there? Well, I was about to find out in a couple of hours. <clears throat> we made it to Ireland! <laughs> and we are tired <laughs> as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but we are happy and there is no time for sleep because we need to explore the city and to have dinner because I'm hungry let's go <laughs> We arrived pretty late in the evening and yeah, it was rainy, but nothing was stopping us from exploring the center and finding a pub to drink and have dinner at. The pub we found looked exactly like in the movies. Amazing dinner, amazing vibes. When we got home, I still could not go to sleep as we had no idea what we would actually do on this journey. Yes, we had no accommodations, no fixed plans. Zdravka taught me this type of traveling and this is what we always do when we travel together. Plan from one day to another and see where the road takes us. So I had to figure out where we would spend the next night. In the meantime, Zdravko fell asleep, but I thought it's better to decide now than in the morning. I checked a bunch of bus routes and schedules and so on. Despite the fact that I was tired, I think I came up with a very cool plan. And finally, I got to have my well-deserved rest.
Good morning. It's a beautiful cloudy morning here in Dublin, Ireland. Mm. How did you sleep? <laughs> well, I slept well. Great. I slept well too. Yeah. It's very early, but we need to go out because we need to explore the town before going to another town. So without further ado, I think we should leave right now. So the first morning was dedicated to exploring Dublin a bit. Our first stop, which we could not miss, was the library of Trinity College. The museum was a pleasant surprise. We got to see the Book of Kells, which is a gospel book, believed to have been created around 800 AD. Later, we decided to take the famous train of Dublin, which is called Dart. I found out that there is a peninsula called Howe, where you can see some steep rocks meet the Irish Sea. I was so happy because the blue sky appeared for the first time that day, just at the right moment. Suddenly, the sun was setting, but we were not stopping. We got on the local intercity bus to travel to the completely other side of the island, to the town of Galway. And this is a happy atom in Galway. <laughs> I just want to show you, not to show off, but oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look at this apartment. <laughs> we didn't expect this. <laughs> there is a fireplace. It's actually pretty huge. Look at the bedroom. And we have a freaking big balcony. Wow. Wow. We decided to visit two pubs that night so we can have some rest and be among local people. How are you? I'm <laughs> From one beer. Oh, 
we got back to our place uh, we didn't actually have time to see Galway uh, but that's tomorrow's plan it was an amazing day we saw a lot of things in Dublin and also on the way sorry for not recording a lot of things but I didn't have battery yeah that's sort of an issue now because uh, we only have one power bank but yeah I hope that my narrations help to tell the story of this journey. You know, sometimes it's exhausting to be constantly on the way. Especially when you are not 100% well mentally. But I wouldn't change a thing. I keep going. Always. Good morning. I need to wake up. One, two, three. I'm definitely not a morning person, but of course, I don't wake up every day in Ireland. And, you know, coffee always helps. <laughs> Galway, here we come. So there we were, getting lost in the mysterious town of Galway. I felt some energy, which was somehow old, yet powerful. Can you feel it? The wind from the Atlantic Ocean became very strong, but we had to head back anyway. Well, this was Galway. Unfortunately, we don't But it was very nice. The road was taking us to another city, Cork. We took the local bus because we prefer to travel with local people. It's such a good way to make yourself feel that you are really there in the country.
we had limited options when it came to buses, as we were staying at the local family in the outskirts of the town. Run! DJ! <laughs> I cannot recall a trip during which we didn't run at least once. <laughs> we took the double decker and I was so excited about it, I felt like I'm a little boy again. And we could not skip another pop night. How are you? <laughs> Oh my god, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> she likes rain. I don't. The food in the pub was yet again amazing. Oh shit. It's raining. Yeah. But now, let's go. And after one more eventful day, it was time to go to sleep. Good morning. We just woke up. Um. Uh, we need to go to the center because another destination is waiting for us. I'm not sure yet how we'll get there, but <laughs> let's see. It's sad that we didn't have much time in Cork, but there was one more place to explore. I found a fishing town about one hour away from Cork. And believe me or not, but we were not expecting it to be so magical. But I will let you be the judge. Let me show you Kinsale. It turned out that Kinsale is also the gourmet capital of Ireland, so we had to try some local scallops and mussels. Mm. Oh my god. How did you like Kinsale? Uh, I love 
<laughs> Finally, it was time to head back to Cork and from there to Dublin. Before we flew back, I decided to ask Zdravka some questions. I was really interested in what she thinks. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So my first question is, what is a crazy travel experience of yours? Maybe the craziest. From all my life. <laughs> or only for this trip. Uh, for all of your travels. The most difficult uh, is the last one. Always. The last one? Yeah. You mean the most recent one? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, that's fair. So do you remember when I moved to you, to your place? Um, how did you see me then and how do you see me now? What's the difference? It was years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you was a child. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, now it's not the same. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> mm, the difference between child and adult is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how did you see me back then? Uh, you uh, were depressed. And yeah. That, that, is, that uh, was the main mm, in this uh, in, in that situation. Yes. And now it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I grew up. <laughs> the day has come. We had to head to the airport to go home. Just like that, I saw Ireland below me, passing by, behind the clouds and saying goodbye to us. I was so full of joy. Sometimes I realize how lucky I am. Experiences like this help me get over my problems, even on the hardest days. Well, this is the end of this amazing journey. I couldn't be happier. Ireland turned out to be so colorful. I came to the conclusion that we should never ever judge a place before visiting it. The Irish people are so humble and the places we saw were completely enchanting. I guess it's time to move on to the next adventure. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs>